Guys, what's good? It's your boy Phil. Today we got a brand new chapter of solo leveling, chapter 165. I know I said I was gonna stream it, but I've been playing a lot of Genshin Impact and uh I need to I need to stop. I really need to stop. But anyways, we're back with another chapter of solo leveling. I actually really like this I, I like this chapter. It was kind of short. It felt short at least. One of those chapters that maybe it is the same content-wise length. As the other chapters but it, i i flew through this chapter it was like two minutes nevertheless really cool things in this chapter some good lore bits about my boy igris obviously at the end sung jin Wu finally reunites with his father after so long but unfortunately his dad looks to be bleeding out and dying and evaporating so that's not a good thing and we'll see what happens next chapter if the dad really does die. That'd be kind of sad. After so long, he's finally in Korea. His family waiting for him. They teased it like six, seven chapters ago. They're like, hey, when's the dad coming back? Well, he's here and he might be dying. So we're going to find out what happens with that next chapter, hopefully. But without further ado, chapter 165 of Solo Leveling. Let's talk about this shit. Let's do it. So this chapter really illustrated how much stronger my boy Sung Jin Woo is now and how overpowered he is. And he's probably going to be, maybe the Dragon King gives him a run for his money. We'll see about that. But uh, he's definitely the strongest thing we've seen in the series so far. He tops everything. Everything in the series we have seen thus far, my boy Sung Jin Woo is stronger. And you know why that is? It's because he has the fully unlocked power now of the Shadow Monarch, but also because my boy Sung Jin Woo has the power of a brilliant light as well. The greatest one at that. So he's got the power of both light and dark. That's what they detailed with this whole flashback in this chapter as well. That's kind of broken. That's kind of over overpowered. It seems very overpowered. And it's probably going to play a big role in the future of the series in some odd amount of chapters from now. So get ready for that. I do have some hopes for the Dragon King. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming the Dragon King is the strongest monarch. We know this, obviously. But he's also probably going to be like the most dark, if that makes sense. Most dark entity Shadow Monarch. The most darkness? I don't know. It's worded weird, but when you have the uh, the brightest fragment of brilliant light in my boy Sung Jin Woo, which ironically, he's the king of the dead, the fucking necromancer class in the series. It's kind of it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny, but he's also, you know, a side of light. It only makes sense that the Dragon King is, you know, the strongest on the dark side. So we'll see how that goes. I have high hopes for the Dragon King. He got name drop a few times this chapter from the Beast Monarch, from the Ice Monarch, talking about the Dragon King is on the way. He's coming back. I'm looking forward to that. There's still a bunch of, not really a bunch, but there's still like two, three monarchs that we still haven't seen yet. Kind of want to see those guys, but Dragon King is on the way. Get ready. Get ready for him. So the weird Sung Jin Woo aura thing that he did at the beginning of the chapter where he just radared the entire planet that was pretty sick. Again, really illustrating how broken my guy is now. He's very strong. Very strong guy. That was cool. We're going to see uh, just how overpowered all his abilities are now. I'm assuming his teleport, his teleport ability is probably instantaneous now. There's probably no cooldowns. Matter of fact, there's no system anymore. I just realized this on the fly right now. None of his abilities probably have cooldowns anymore. None of them. There's not a system anymore. The system was the one implementing the cooldowns. <laughs> He's going to be so broken. You have no idea. I mean, his shadow teleport, no cooldown. Resurrection, no cooldown. All his little buffs and debuffs and all that shit, no cooldown anymore. I am very excited. For, for, I mean, like he, I'm not even excited. I'll be real with you. There's, there's going to be no competition with this boy Sung Jin Woo. I mean, he already died. He came back to life. He can just do that again. The series is over, dude. The, can the Dragon King really put up a fight against this boy Sung Jin Woo? I don't think so, man. My boy Sung Jin Woo has reached peak broken 
in like the entirety of everything. So that's my little bit on the boy Song Jin Woo. Uh, he, I see no reasons for him to have any cooldowns anymore. His mana cap may be the only thing that holds him back here on out, but the system was implementing the cooldowns. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see how that affects him later on. Dragon King is coming back. But the big thing I really want to talk about this chapter, and I hope we get more on this later on, now that my boy Igris can start talking, we got a little bit of Igris lore this chapter. And I was very excited about this. Igris, the Knight of Death, one of the two wings. Yo, one of the original shadows in my boy the Shadow King's posse, bro. This is huge. I think I thought I called something along the lines of this, that my boy Igris was a significant shadow. Obviously, last chapter, his his limiter, I guess, has been removed and he can be full power Igris now. I'm very excited for this. I said he was probably like top three shadow. I wonder if he's going to be the strongest shadow now. Yo, I'm all for that. I'm down as fuck for that, dude. I would love for Igris to be the strongest shadow. You guys know I love the boy Igris and he has been on a rampage lately. I still, I think he has the lightning sword still. Correct me if I'm wrong. I love that, but dude, I, I'm just loving the Igris love. I, I, I'm, I'm loving it. I, I hope he gets more love. He has a little cool, like, teleporty cloak that he showed off in this chapter. That was pretty sick. Uh, I want to get some some lore, some more information from the boy Igris. I hope he can keep talking. Maybe my boy Sung Jin Woo later on, maybe in like two or three chapters from now, starts asking some questions to the boy Igris. We'll see, man. We'll see. I'd love if Igris... I would love if Igris was the personification of the original Shadow Monarch. I think that'd be pretty cool if he had like, you know, if, if the Shadow Monarch could communicate through Igris. I think that'd be sick, but we'll see if that happens. The Frost Monarch, so he dies, obviously, right? Gets impaled. By the way, the way my boy Sung Jin Woo deals with the Beast Monarch and the Frost Monarch is savage as shit. It took four strikes to take down the Beast Monarch. Obviously, he one-shot his arm off. That was sick. Bye-bye, uh, Beast Monarch. Obviously searched with the radar to find him. We know that already. Um, and and the, the Frost Monarch just gets shit on. Absolutely shit on. Kind of bodied. I was kind of sad. I mean, you saw his human vessel, right? Shatter through the Frost Monarch's, like, entity thing he had going on. You saw his human vessel, and I was like, damn, he was human first off. I thought he was an elf originally, but he was actually human, which was kind of... Uh, Kind of sad. I wonder how long he had that vessel for, man. That vessel was probably old as shit. But hey, that's just the reality of, uh, of what's going on in solo leveling. We have these vessels. Even the Fragments of Brilliant Light have these vessels. We'll get to his father in a little bit. But uh, it's, it's, it's wild, man. So obviously the other two monarchs, I think there's two left, right, that have vessels of their own. The same thing is probably going to happen to them. And the Dragon King, who hasn't found a vessel yet... I don't know about this Dragon King, man. I really don't. I don't I don't know what's going to happen with this Dragon King. It's going to be interesting, man. Is it going to be Lu Gang? I don't think it's going to be. I think Lu Gang has a fragment of Brilliant Light. I think. I think so. But maybe the Dragon King gets a hold of a fragment of Brilliant Light. And they, like, fuse or some shit. I don't know. We'll see about that. And then, obviously, that's my bit on the Frost Monarch. He gets one shot. Revenge is taken for the boy. Go gun he. And then we end off the chapter with my boy Sung Jin Woo's dad bleeding out, dying, evaporating uh, with the uh, with the fragment of brilliant light that he had. Obviously, he was a vessel, so we're going to see what happens with that. Uh, that confirms, obviously, that he was a fragment of brilliant light, first off. Second off, that he had a connection with the rulers that we thought about a long time ago, right? Obviously, he's hopping through portals. That must mean he knows about all the shit going on. And then... Uh, I'm expecting a dialogue next chapter. I think we all are between uh, my boy Sung Jin Woo and his father. Hard to call. Hard to call if his dad is going to die or not. I mean, he might. He might die. Be sad without him even seeing his daughter or his wife. I, I don't even know if he knows if his wife is alive, right? I don't, I don't, even, I don't even know if he knows about that. Which, by the way, the whole disease with the... Uh, with the, the eternal slumber disease. That shit has been thrown to the side, dude. It completely thrown to the side. I feel like we haven't heard about that in a while. Maybe that comes back. Who knows? Maybe the entire world gets put in eternal slumber. That'd be a good plot point. That might happen. 
quote me on that one. Um, but yeah, his dad, obviously, um, he, I, it, this is a 50-50 coin flip for me. If he dies, I can see why that would be a huge thing. That'd be a narratively huge thing for my boy Sung Jun Woo. Obviously, it'd be a, it'd be a real heart pain for him. Uh, but if he stays alive, I'd love to see him live out the rest of his days with his wife and daughter. That'd be pretty sick, obviously. Nar they, you know, a few chapters ago, they were just talking about his dad and how they were keeping the house and all that shit, but... We'll see how this one goes next chapter. I'm expecting a dialogue, maybe some background information on the rulers and fragments of brilliant light and all that shit. And what the dad really knows, I would love to see that. I, f I have a feeling his dad stays alive because his dad was linked with Luja Gang and the whole, you know, solo leveling reverie thing they had going on. Uh, and we'll see what happens with that. But that's the chapter. I love this chapter. I, I rated it 10 out of 10. I thought this chapter was sick. I really do. I, I This chapter had a little bit of everything for me. It had the hype, the slaughter fest for my boy Sung Jin Woo, my boy Igris getting his, and uh, the dad at the end. It was cool. It was good. It was good shit. I think the biggest takeaway from this chapter, though, is how much stronger my boy Sung Jin Woo is because, man, this dude is strong. He's overpowered. And uh, I really don't see the Dragon King. I mean, we we know nothing about him, but it's going to be hard for this guy, the Dragon King, to step up to my boy Sung Jin Woo. It really is. But guys, that's the video. Let me know down below what you think about this chapter. What were your favorite parts? What do you think is going to happen? What do you expect my boy Sung Jin Woo's father to say to his son on his deathbed uh, next chapter? Do let me know. But as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.